Hello and welcome back. It's time once again to try to fix something. And today on the workbench, we have a PS4 Slim. Uh, I didn't notice the exact model of it. Doesn't matter, I suppose. But um, it seems to be very dead. Nothing with eject, nothing on the power. If you don't get a beep on the eject, you're missing your standby voltage. So, yeah, it's in pretty good shape overall. I don't believe it's uh, factory fresh. It's not sealed, I mean. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this thing. See if we have a power supply problem or a mainboard problem. All right, well, I got the bottom off this thing, and it, it does look very clean. Like I was expecting to find roaches in it. But, look at the Blu-ray antenna. Kind of mangled. And also, uh, the screw to, to uh, the bottom screw for the power supply. That's not the right screw. So, somebody's been in here before us. That's never a good thing. Alright, I have removed the power supply. Which appears to be some sort of a refurbished supply, possibly, with a sticker over the uh, screw hole. So, I don't think that's quite the original. It's a 160 FR. If you can see that number in there somewhere. Yeah, 160 FR. And I happen to have one of those, so let's just see if my supply is any better than uh, than theirs. Let's see. No. No power. No power on the power button, no power on the eject button. Let's do let's confirm that cable is hooked up, isn't it? Sometimes these have been have been known just to come out somehow. The ribbon cable looks like it's connected at each end. Huh, this could get serious. No power on a slim and not even the eject button. Hmm. Okay. Let's dig a little further. Oh, and uh, just for completeness, I'm going to check the uh, actuators for the Blu-ray. She's moving. There's no disc in there. But that doesn't turn it on either. All right. We are in. Got the uh, bottom shield off. And this is never what you want to see. The APU clamp is upside down. So yeah, somebody's been deep into this thing. Don't see anything obvious yet. Like it's not it's not a HDMI port replacement going wrong or anything. Looks like. So I don't know. But I hate to see that. Okay, I've got the circuit board out, and we see some very fresh uh, thermal compound there, thermal paste. So is that what they were doing? And when they did that, there's supposed to be a little threaded piece right here, which is now laying over here, jammed into this mesh. And I am wondering what it was shorting against. And was it something important? Is that why we're dead right now? Let's just see, take a look at this. So this would have been laying right in here like so. So it would have been right here in the kind of the Renaissance area, I guess you'd call it. Right in this area. I'm trying to see if there's any obvious damage. Because I don't doubt something was shorting. Yep. That thing, of course, should be right there. You know, falls out very easily. Hmm. Okay. On the off chance that was it, what if we just, we'll just, well, we can leave it where it's supposed to be. Let's pop this board back in there and see if that's what our issue was. All right, I've, I've popped the main board back in there. Uh, just hook up the minimum cables, really just the power, you know, the ribbon for the uh, power and the LEDs. Not really concerned about the Blu-ray at the moment. Uh, I have my supply in there because I know it's good. Was that our only issue? Are we that lucky? Let's see. No. Okay. 
So it wasn't that simple. Darn. I just want to do a few quick checks before we take this board out and take it inside. Just want to confirm we do have our uh, 4.8 standby, right, and we do have our power good signal. So I just want to see if that was being shorted to ground, you know, something shorting it out, the standby voltage totally, but that's not the case. So it's time to get it inside. We are inside of the workbench. Getting ready to look at this board under the microscope. Um, let me go ahead and switch the microscope view so I can also get you a shot of my multimeter so you can uh, see the same thing I'm seeing here. Give me a moment. You can tell this production's on a budget, can't you? On a tight budget. Well, all right. Let's see if this will work now. I'm looking in the area, you know, where that uh, metal uh, threaded piece would have been resting against this board. And I see this resistor here as it's taken some damage. So let me show you what I'm reading here. I'm going to try to get that light back on because I know you need it to see. Up here, what I'm getting uh, close to 1K. 1K. And down here, 52K. And I don't know if that's right or not. I really don't. Um, but I did go out to the to the garage in my junk storage and find another board here. The board we're working on is an SAF006. And I found an SAF005 that looks to have that same three resistor arrangement there. So let's just see what that says. Wake up multimeter. Um, okay, about 1K, about 1K, and 1K. So our resistor is bad. Now, is that the problem? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm sure it's going to try that first before I go digging into the South Bridge and standby supplies and all that. Let's change out this resistor. Uh, it's, that's going to be a 1K. Is that a, is that a uh, 0402? It's a tiny one. Um, let's swap that out. I'm not going to take it off of this board because it's not. I'm still working on this. I still have some hope of fixing this board. This is a whole other project. But I do have a, a book of resistors. Let's get this swapped out and see if this does any good for us. All right, we are back out in the garage. I've got the board back in the chassis. Just kind of, uh, well, I hadn't put the, uh, I should probably put the clamp on there, shouldn't I? So, can I do that with uh, one hand here? Let's see, just turn it the right way. Um, I'm wondering if this is our issue, you know, or if we're about to get down to the original problem. I'm wondering if, it was dead and somebody took it apart to put more thermal compound more thermal paste on the APU because that fixes everything you know and then they inadvertently left that uh, metal piece under the circuit board that's what I'm wondering but you know sometimes you get an easy win is today one of those days No. No. So yeah, I think my theory 
is probably accurate. I think I think it was dead, and somebody decided, well, more thermal paste on the APU will fix it. And, and then the other stuff happened, you know, during that. So I think we're getting now to the original problem. It's dead. Okay, we're back in here on the workbench, back inside, ready to look at this thing. You know, I like to uh, something that's you know having a startup issue like this a dead dead board. I like to take a look at the current draw, and I am set up. I've got a little harness I've cobbled together here, connecting 4.8 volts into this board. And let me show you the current draw when I enable the supply. 21 milliamps, 27, 32. That's very odd. You know, I expect it to shoot up over 100 milliamps and come back down. It's, so yeah, something's up. Maybe we do have a dead south bridge. Oh, look. It's a 42 GG. Just automatically assume it's bad. Ish. All right, let's take a look uh, under the um, south bridge area on the back of this board. And let's see what we find, shall we? Take a look under the microscope. And I'm, uh, I'm in continuity mode. And this is one of the supplies going into the south bridge right in here. And what we have is, if you can hear that, a 3 ohm short to ground. So, surprise, surprise, a 42 GG has died again. Now, I think that's what happened. The, uh, the south bridge died, and somebody opened it up. To put thermal paste in there to, to cure it and got that metal piece out of the out of the position which I'm not sure you know that would have caused some other issue if we hadn't replaced that one I'm not sure what it's related to it was in this it's in the uh, blu-ray issue so it probably would have caused an issue there but yeah we need a 42 GG and those things are expensive I think I have one on hand I think I have one on hand one reballed already I have one that maybe I have to check through my parts I may have one that's a pull. You know, I replaced it. It didn't fix the problem. I could reball that one. Let me see what I have. But we're going to need one for sure, the way this is shorted. All right. I found my uh, parts. I didn't find any, you know, new, already reballed 42 GGs. But I do have this one, which I have marked probably good because it means I'm. Replaced it and it didn't solve whatever issue I was trying to fix at the time. And I have two more here. These are 42 GGs also, I believe, um, of unknown quality. But probably good. I probably held on to them for a reason. I mean, if they're, if they're shorted, they're going in the trash. So these probably were not shorted and may very well be good. And these things are like 40 bucks each now. So I'm not going not gonna to throw them away without at least uh, checking for shorts or something. But I think I'll reball this one. And so uh, I, I, I was confident enough to write probably good on there whenever this was done. So we'll try this one.
Well, our south bridge is changed. And as far as I can tell, that south bridge that I put on there is not shorted. So it doesn't mean it's good, but it's not shorted. At least not in the way that the other one was. So I think I'm connected. I reconnected everything I had disconnected during troubleshooting. Uh, yeah, I'm set for 4.8 again at 300 milliamps. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that looks good. Uh, I think that's good. All right, do I have laying around on my workbench a slim power button? I should be more prepared than this. Wasn't expecting it to work, I guess. Oh, well, here's a here's a board, but I don't have the ribbon for it. Okay. Uh, well, shoot. I thought there was one laying around here forever. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to take it outside and put it in the, in the uh, frame and see what happens. Shall we? Well, we are back out in the garage, and it's time to see if we've uh, done any good with this one. Uh, South Bridge is changed out. I didn't really do anything else to it. Uh, well, we did replace that one resistor that we saw that was damaged. Uh, other than that, um, I've got my test supply in there. Let's see what happens here, shall we? That's good. A beep, a blue light, fan spin. I do have the hard drive in it. So in theory... We should get a PlayStation logo. Excellent. Uh, the, the CMOS battery, or I saw it called CMOS, but the CR2032 battery was also uh, dead, so I replaced that. Hmm, well, we're going to reboot. Come on. Oh, can I start PS4? Okay, so we have a bad hard drive. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Or it probably just needs a software installed. Because a lot of times people, when they sell these, they take the hard drive out, they format it with the PC and stick it back in there. Hard drive could still be good. But I think I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, we brought this one back from the dead. If you enjoyed it, thought it was entertaining or educational, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.